What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I am still in Colombia. Actually, I'm not going to even keep saying I'm still in Colombia. I'm going to be here for a while, so I'll be here for at least at least 90 days. And uh, I just want to talk today about the CPI score, okay, and why it is important in July, August, and September when it comes to the CPI score. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But first off, on this channel, we talk about money and the financial struggles that Americans are facing today. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you get notified anytime we put out a video. Okay, so first off, Thank you guys all for the, the new subscribers. Last month was a really good month for subscribers, so I really appreciate all the new uh, people to the channel. That's, uh, it means a lot to me, okay? So please, if you're here, you've been watching my videos, it does help out if, when you subscribe to the channel because it helps YouTube know, okay, this is content that they should be promoting out to more people. So please do that, subscribe, hit the little bell notification. The reason why I ask you to hit that bell notification is because I do premieres, okay? So not only do I just uh, post videos, sometimes I'll do a premiere, and when I do a premiere, if you are, if you do subscribe and you hit that little bell notification, as soon as I say that I'm going to do a premiere, and usually it's a couple of hours before I do the premiere, you will get a notification letting you know in a couple of, in a couple of hours there's gonna be a premiere. So that gives you a little bit of time uh, to to come and, and, and join us. And when you join us, if you have questions for me, you can ask me questions in the chat. I'll be there uh, watching the video with you. So if you have questions about the video or if you just have a question about something else, you can ask me in the chat. So it gives you an opportunity to connect with me. So subscribe, hit the bell notification, watch the premieres. My goal is to do at least three to four premieres per week. Okay, so not all the videos that I put out will be a premiere. Uh, some videos, if they're really short, uh, let's say if it's eight to 10 minutes, I don't like to do premieres on those videos because by the time the video starts, it's over. And so that's why I save the premieres for videos where they're a little bit longer, where we have a little bit more uh, time to chat. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, COLA. Okay, so that's what we're going to be focused on today. We're going to be focused on the CPI score because the CPI score is what the Social Security Administration uses when they're trying to calculate COLA. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to go back. We're going to look at the CPI scores from all of last year, and then we'll look at the CPI scores uh, this year because it's very important for us to focus on that to kind of figure out where we're going when it comes to COLA because there have been talks that COLA could be 8.6%. That's what some economists are saying, and then we have some other experts that are saying it could go as high as 11%. Okay, so at the very end of this, I will talk a little bit about the pros and the cons when it comes to the the cola increase and what to expect and what does it really mean uh, when it comes down to it. Because some people look at this as, oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be an increase. You know, we're getting a raise with Social Security. No, it's not a raise. Okay, it's an offset. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll we'll go ahead and and look at our uh, screen here. And I'm going to show you, and if I can shrink this down, y'all yeah, shrink it down a little bit. So I have two calendars here, okay? Now, these calendars are based on a year, and you guys will understand really quickly what, I'm, what I've done here. And so uh, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, last year. So this is 2021, okay? So this is what we saw 2021 when it, when it comes to the CPI score every month, okay? And that's what we want to focus on. The CPI score every month. Now there are a few months, and, and there, there are three months that are that we really need to focus on, but I wanted to show you guys the whole year. So looking at January of 2021, uh, the CPI score in January was 1.4%. In February, it was 1.7%. And in March, it was 2.6%. So you see the CPI score continuing to rise. And just and I didn't even tell you guys what CPI means. So CPI score is basically the consumer price index. Uh, for for wage earners, okay. So CPIW is basically what the Social Security Administration uses uh, to calculate this information, and so uh, the CPI score for April four point two percent. You see it just steady steady rising, and that is you know that's in correlation with our inflation, okay. Uh, CPI score for May is uh, five point zero percent, and in June it was five point four percent. July it was 5.9% or 5.4% again, I'm sorry. August it was 5.3%, uh, September it was 5.4%. Now these 3 months, July, August, September, this is what the Social Security Administration uses to calculate COLA for Social Security, okay? And so that's so looking at that, 5.4%, 5.3%, and another 5.4%. And then 
in October, the second week of October, that's when the Social Security Administration came out with COLA. Okay, and at that time, COLA was 5.9%. Okay, so that is the number that they came up with after calculating. And basically, they started looking at, at uh, the CPI scores and they realized, okay, it's pretty, it's pretty steady at 5.4, 5.3. And so they bumped it up just a little bit to 5.9%. And then you saw in, in October, which you saw in October, it went up even higher. So that 5.9% didn't even offset where inflation was year to year. Now we're talking year to year. Okay. So it's very important for us to focus on that too. If you're seeing it by month, it does increase, but it doesn't increase uh, as high. But when you're looking at year to year, uh, that's when you'll, you see the, those larger numbers. Okay. Then in November it was 6.8% and then December seven, uh, 7%. And so that's what we were looking at when it, when it came to last year, that 5.9% uh, COLA for the year. Okay. Now let's move into 2022. Okay. And this is what we need to focus on now. So January, so December, we saw 2021, 7%, January, 7.5%. Okay. So it's, it's still rising. February, 7.9%. In March, 8.5%. April, 8.3%. May, 8.6%. And now in a couple of days, we will get the, the uh, CPI score for, uh, for June. So we'll know what that looks like. But just looking at CPI right now, 8.5, 8.3, 8.6, we're in the eights. Okay, so I think it's pretty safe to say if we continue on this same path, which I don't see any reason why the CPI score is going to drop any lower. I think it's going to stay around the same. It's going to increase a little bit, especially be, by it being the holidays. People are going to be using, uh, they're going to be spending more. They're going to be using more gas and things like that. And so I see that CPI score being still around eight something. It could even go into 9%. Uh, so looking at July, that's what we need to focus on. August and September, if it stays around that, the high eights, nine then we're looking at COLA that's probably going to be 9. It's going to be around 9%, okay? And that's just my estimate, okay? Now, I'm not an economist, but I'm just telling you, just look, just based on what we saw last year and, and how COLA was, and you saw it staying kind of around, uh, when we're looking here, you see it staying around that, that 5%, 5.3, uh, 5.4, 5 5.4, and then we ended up with a 5.9%. Uh, so I think looking at the situation now, we could be in we could be in a situation where it's going to be at least eight eight point five percent I would say, and it could go as high as nine. And there are some experts that are saying it could be even eleven percent, which I think is really really high. But I don't I, I I can't see it being that high. But it could happen, right? So some people might think, well, this is great. This is great. We're going to be able to get you know receive more money. Well, with that, you are going to, the, the premiums, the premiums for Medicare are going to go up because they always do. Uh, also, this is an offset. And so we have to look at inflation a, as a whole because just, just look at what happened last year. Last year, COLA, uh, the increase for COLA for 2022 was 5.9%. But now we're looking at inflation at 8.6, 8 8.5%. Uh, so that means that 5.9% is not enough. That means when you go to the grocery store, your dollar still isn't as valuable as it was a year ago. And so that's what we need to focus on. So 5.9% wasn't enough. And if we're looking at the situation here where it's 8 point, let's say it's 8.6 to 8 to 9% and inflation goes even higher than that, we're still the dollar still not is is as valuable as it was the year before. Okay? So you can't get as much for your dollar. And so that's what we really, really need to focus on. Understand COLA is just to offset. And, and depending on what you're receiving, like for me, I'm receiving a pension. My COLA can't go higher than 3%. And so times like this are really bad for people who have pensions like mine because it can only go 3%. So if I'm looking at inflation and I'm looking at uh, the CPIs at, at 8%, 9%, I can only go to 3% every year. Okay, now... The trade-off is when the economy is doing really well and and you and we have people where they're not receiving that much when it comes to COLA, they're not even getting uh, 3% or sometimes Social Security will, will cut you to a point where you don't get any, any COLA at all because the economy is doing well and there's and inflation is really low. Well, in situations like that, they what they do is they hold on to the excess as far as the CPI score. I'm just talking about my, my pension. So in the future... 
they'll offset it. So I can't. I can only get three percent this year. Next year I can get three percent. The year after that I can get three percent. And if it gets to a point where inflation drops lower than three percent, I can still get three percent because I have kind of a, let's just say some uh, cola in the bank. Let's just think uh, think of it like that. So. When it comes down to it, I wanted to show you guys this because I think it's very important for us to really start focusing on the the CPI scores. And you should be uh, interested in knowing what that CPI score is every every month. And so we'll get the results for June in a few days, and then we start focusing on July. So then in August, so the beginning of August, we'll find out what what the the CPI scores are in July, and that's that's going to be recorded. Social Security Administration will be paying attention to that number. They'll be paying attention to the number in August. They'll be paying attention to the the number in September and then in October. Usually it's the first couple of weeks of October. That's when that that COLA will come out for Social Security. So if you guys have any other questions, post them down below. Remember, subscribe, hit the little bell notification. I will be doing premieres. As a matter of fact, this video, um, I'm hoping... uh, I don't know until I edit the video and then see, okay, oh, it's about 14 minutes, 15 minutes. Once I know exactly how long the video is, then I'll do the premiere. So so just know if you see a video that's 15 minutes, it's probably going to be a premiere, okay? And you'll have a couple of hours. So I'll usually give you a couple of hours to let you know that the premiere will be will be airing. Uh, one of the things that I always recommend that you do if you do see a premiere, if you see the, the notification for a premiere, put notify me. Just click on there. It'll say notify me. That way YouTube will remind you because this happens to me all the time. I see one of my favorite YouTubers are doing a premiere and I want to watch the premiere, but I don't hit the notification button. And because I don't hit that notification button, guess what? A couple hours go by and I forget about it. And then I don't, and then I don't, I'm not able to get to, to the premiere. So make sure when you do see a notification for premiere, hit the notification button. That way they will notify you right before I do the premiere. All right. That's all I have for you guys. Any questions, like I said, down below, like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.